You're listening to Plus Size Divas with Deanna and Carmen. Hello, every beautiful, unique, worthy body out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are back. I am Carmen Renee, a.k.a. Eat the Cake 2. And I am Deanna at Deanna Bomb Chica. And we are the Plus Size Divas. I just was going to let her say it by herself. Well, I did. So thank you. Does everybody like my smoky tone? Deanna is having a moment. So everyone bear with her. Send her love and hugs and positive vibes. And call in and check on her. And if you want to call in, the number should be on the screen. But if it's not, it is 818-570-5085. Trust me, you're going to want to call in today. Before we get started, let's give a amazing, much-needed shout-out to our sponsor, Goat Level Tees. You are amazing. Make sure you are following them, GoatLevelTees.com, on social media, Goat Level Tees. Again, I'm waiting. Purchase tag us you will be featured on all of our platforms because yes. we love you guys and we love our sponsor and we have a discount code for you 20 percent off with the code not playing no g no not playing so make sure you're checking them out support thank you again and i want to shout out also fashion nova and fashion nova curve for the outfits every week we love you guys make sure you Bling. are checking them out i have a code Bling. cake xo for 20 percent off i don't have a code because they said i don't need one well you can still use mine. Okay. <laughs> use Carmen's and get money off, y'all. Um, we um, are very excited this week. This because is big. This is big. Because when I tell you that we got a guest tonight, Jesus Lord, when I tell you that we got a guest tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Father. Taking us to church. I'm taking you to church. No, you guys, when I tell you, um, I know every week, you know what's funny? I think every week people watch and they're like, every week she talks about this amazing guest because we've been really blessed with amazing yeah. guests uh, from Goo Goo to Billionaire to, to, to Jules to now tonight's guest. We've been really, 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 we want to say thank you to the people who have supported us and coming on. This is our fourth show. Girl. Okay, yeah, which makes us so huge, by the way. It's huge that we have... To me, um, a woman that I have watched for years, I have watched her evolution, I have watched her blossom into um, really, uh, you know, somebody, somebody that I think the community and, and women should look up to and be inspired by. Um, because I'm inspired by women who, um, you know, forgive me, you said this yourself when um, I hosted that event, who came from nothing and she's really made something of herself. She is an entrepreneur. She has taken bad situations and they made them amazing situations. When I say mogul, mom, and y'all, like, every time I see her, I'm like, bitch, did she just get finer? Cause I'm gonna punch <laughs> her in the <laughs> fucking face. Like seriously. And our topic today, and we're gonna get to it is- Deanna, can you please introduce her? I'm gonna fucking, let me <laughs> oh fucking God. lead up, bitch. Let me do my shit, okay? Let me do my <laughs> shit. Um, our topic today is like when you look like an 11, but sometimes feel like a one or a two. And that's our topic because when I look at this girl, I'm like, there is never a day that this bitch doesn't look in the mirror and go, I am fly. But believe it or not, all of us do experience that. So anyway, without further ado, um, I would like to, <laughs> I would like to introduce April Jones Hello. to the show, everybody. Thank Woo. you guys for having me. Yes, you can follow her, April S. Uh -huh. Jones. Yep. Um, and with Instagram. a Y. A P R Y L S. Her mama, mama was different, right? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mama was different. Uh -oh. Okay. April with a <laughs> Y. But do follow her. And she is the owner, entrepreneur, starter of this wonderful company called April Wines, which basically she provides wines for people like me when I've had a bad day. I'm kidding. That is true. That is true. But <laughs> everybody say hello to April. Follow Hi her back. Guys. Hi, April. Um, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> So this is what I mean about the 11, because you see her, right? Um, April, yes. you, when I met you in L.A. <coughs> 142 years ago, yes. you were a singer. I was. You, you were a singer. But you have, like, this story that I'm just like, wait a minute, what? She's a nerd? Wait, hold on, wait. And mm -hmm. then she, wait, and then what? Okay, 
I don't have my shit together, right? No, you, you do, do. have this all together. over the place. No, that's you fabulous that oh, you're no. like this kaleidoscope. You're super well-rounded. You. Well-rounded. <laughs> I want you to tell people, because what I want to get to is why April Wines, mm -hmm. and I want you to tell everybody the fabulous stuff that you do for women yeah. with okay. April Wines, but I need you to, to get us to that story. Okay. So start from the nerdage. Well, moved to okay. So prior to me moving to California, um, I graduated with a degree in radiation science. What? Amazing. Um, Wait, can we just say it again? Prior to starting <laughs> off, <laughs> moving to no California. the radiation science part. Oh, I have a degree in radiation. <laughs> you said what the Sarge, hell? I, I have a degree ask. in radiation science. What's radiation science? Like you know, radiology and like sonograms and those sorts of things. So I have oh. a degree in that. Yeah. Um, which is amazing and I love it and it was you know thank God for my mother being an Asian strict parent who said school 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 um, but I'm a super creative person and it, like my passion has always been just being an entertainer making people mm. laugh like you know like that's just been the God given gift that I've had in singing and just the whole entertainment and so I told myself cool mom <laughs> I'm going to make you happy for two years since I went to school you know graduated with this degree I'm going to work at one of the best hospitals that actually you know hired me in which was Northwestern Memorial Hospital downtown Chicago shout out Northwestern wow. and um, two years I gave myself and I said it's been two years literally as of this day I'm getting the fuck up out of here gotta go yeah and I didn't care how much money I had in my pocket I didn't care about anything else other than the fact that I promised myself mm. you know that this was going to be the day that I was gonna leave. Okay. And I, um, I did, and I moved to California with $5,000 in my pocket. I came out for a girl group situation that was terrible because none of the girls wanted to work and I was like so like, Eager. you know, like, yeah. yeah. And then it just didn't go right and it's okay. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. when you move to California, people think it's like this like glamorous life and it's shit when you first move here. Right. Most people mm -hmm. have, they go homeless and all these things and I had, ex I'd experienced that. And um, it was terrible, oh my God. And then ended up, you know, finding my way here in California, doing little, you know, jobs, working at nail salons, like just uh -uh. trying. Yeah, no, I know. You yes, I did. Really? Mm -hmm. The wind nail salon. Yes, I did. <laughs> I can't stand you. I really can't. I, I can't. Did. I can't. Um, and then, you know, um, just staying true to just still doing music on the side, studio, and all that stuff. Right. But then ended up meeting, you know, baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Who and that? Omarion. For those who mm -hmm. don't know, Omarion. Uh huh. They know. Y'all watch know. me. Uh -huh. No, but know. yeah, so in a meeting, maybe daddy, and we had this amazing, you know, like what, four and a half years of traveling. We had our babies, you know, um, became a parent. So, thank Both you so much. So, really. so my life really was put on hold, and, you know, I sacrificed a lot to support. Hold up. Him. Put on hold because were you, were you so in the, in love? family thing that you weren't doing your music um well it was that he wanted me to experience um because he was an entertainer he had yeah. he was living that life yeah he wanted me to see what it was about oh. so he was like how about you travel on the road with me see if this is what okay. you really want see what what i go through and and see if you still love it at yeah. the end of the day and mm. it was like okay so i did and it was a lot of stuff that I didn't know that he did teach me that I was like, wow, I didn't know this music entertainment industry really consisted of this. It's mm -hmm. not as easy as I thought. It's not easy peasy, you know? And it's a struggle to be an artist. Um, and I was like, I kind of started like not loving it as much as I did. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, kind of got comfortable, got right. content with just traveling and being on the mm -hmm. road. And then I was like, what am I doing here? And then got pregnant. And then I was like, okay, I'm getting ready to have a baby. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we were in a good space. And so it was like, cool, nine months we have, and I'm going to be a mother. And then I became a mom. And then it was like my life was placed on hold for my yeah. child. Mm -hmm. And then it was like still having a baby placed in my life on hold, but sacrificing still being in that relationship and saying, you know, he wanted me on the road. He wanted his family on the road. And it was like, okay. I just kind of felt like I gave up a lot of myself yeah. to make everybody else around me happy. Mm -hmm. And it was okay in the beginning, but gradually over time, I started to see that I was really losing myself in all of it. Yeah. Because I was, I was kind of moving went away. Yeah. And I was moving further away from mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this really is terrible. But like, it wasn't enough at that particular point to like make me move or do anything different you know gotcha. i was just i was okay with i was content and then got pregnant again 
Mm. Having sex. And, oh, Gosh, so guys, you know, and if you don't want to have kids, <laughs> it's called a condom, you know, everybody. don't have <laughs> sex, okay? Uh, don't have sex. If you're not, I'm just saying, I mean, I love my babies, but I'm right. saying if you're not ready for that, you know, protect yourself, okay? Um, <laughs> I, wait, pause. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Was there no birth control? <clears throat> uh, okay. Oh, yeah, it was initially. But then? But then I was like, man, I, like, my sex drive be decreasing on the birth control. I'm not going to oh, lie. Yeah. And oh. I was on it for since I was 16 years old. Oh. And so then I was like, you know what? It's time for me to get off. I, at that point, when I had my son, I was I got pregnant at 26, had my son at 27. It was, what, 10, 11 years I've been on birth control. Yeah. And I was like, this is not, this doesn't feel, like, I wasn't feeling like myself. Uh-huh. So I got off. And then right when I got off, God damn it, I got pregnant. <laughs> That's a weird I'm like, gosh, that darn it. Because, you know, they tell you, well, you can't get pregnant right away no, after they, being on yeah. birth control for so long. And I'm like, cool. Um, unless you're April. Jones. I'm fertile. So I ended up getting pregnant, Mm. having my babies. And then, um, you know, so how now I'm going to go to the wines because, you know, that was my whole life with that. Wait, but we're skipping stuff. Okay, what you want to know? Okay, so I want to know, I want to know you had these babies. Yes. You Was there discussion of y'all spending your life together? Of course. And what 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 happened? What happened to that talk? Well, um... You know, I don't know actually what happened. I think that sometimes when you have children, I think mm. people change. Yeah. And I think that, you know, what you envision before, you know, an experience or a situation actually happening. Right. It's not the same as when it actually happens. Right. So, you know, people talk about all day, I want four kids and this, and then you have two and you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? You know, and it's mm. the same thing. It's like, oh, I want kids. I want to spend my life with you. And then you see how hard it is and you're kind of like, well, I don't know if I really want it's this. a selfless job yeah and so yeah. I think that when you're talking about people and people coming with you know disappoint disappointments and being human you know I really had low expectations um I have low expectations of people but I wanted to have higher expectations of him and <clears throat> sorry of him in the in the whole uh relationship mm-hmm. but unfortunately I just don't think he was 100 percent you know ready right yeah you have to be ready 100 percent. yeah so, so we've got these babies the relationship's over and yeah. w- what got you to i mean wines of all things well Wh- what so got you there? what happened after the breakup was really like it was just a really tough time for me i mean mm-hmm. you're talking about me you know being on national tv with the person being associated with a, with a person having kids with a person and thinking that i was going to be with them and marry them and spend the rest of my life i could have had kids with anyone i always say that and it's like i had kids with him because i really thought that we were going to be in a situation. Mm. And then when it all ended up unfolding, I was like, you know, like April, like you gave up a lot, you know, and it's not, I didn't want to put blame on him for you made me do this. Or right. you, it was like, no, okay, what are you going to do to shift your life around at this point? Mm-hmm. And um, so I, I really had to sit with myself. I had to pray about it. You know, I had a moment with God where I was like, what am I doing? Where am I at? Well, I've lost myself, you know, and I was in postpartum with after just having my mm. daughter and then the breakup. I was like, what the fuck? Mm. And so I said, you know what? April, you have a degree. Okay, this is right after I got off Love and Hip Hop and all that. I said, I'm going to go back to work. So I went back to work at MLK. Hmm. And that was in a terrible neighborhood. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was, I just got off a national TV show. People were bothering me for pictures when I would go to work. And I was going through a really bad time. So hmm. it was really, I had to humble myself. I had to humble myself 100%. It was terrible. It was and, a, and this played out public. Yeah. So you probably had people coming on telling you about your relationship. Oh, I mean, it was it was terrible. It was terrible. Right. Um, but like I said, I had to humble myself. And every day, even when I would go to work, I was breastfeeding. I was pumping, you know, when I was there. And I was still trying to encourage women like, hey, when you when you go to work or wherever you got to do or, you know, getting back to just becoming, a, you know, uh, you're, you're a full time mother. You know, you still got to make time to pump. You still I was still encouraging people in my yeah. darkest days, you know. That's amazing. And um, I just remember going through just that depression and just really like trying to make my money and not really depend on a man and all these things. And just praying to God. And I just remember, like, you know, being offered a a meeting with someone who owned a winery here in Temecula, California. And so I was like, oh, my God. Okay, cool. Like, we'll see where this goes. You know, not really thinking much of it. And he fell in love with me. And then he was like, I want to create this this wine brand with you. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. The universe. Yeah. Yeah. God answered your prayers. Exactly. So I came down to the winery. We went through the whole process. And I was like, oh, my God, this is really happening. This is crazy, right? Right. So then I had to go. I was a part of the whole thing, the logos, the name and all that. So I'm like, cool, like, what am I like? What am I going to call this? And so then, you know, I was like, well, let me name this after my daughter. You know, mm-hmm. my daughter's name is Ame, which means beautiful in, in Chinese. So I was like, OK, 
uh, uh, beautiful, but what what do I want out of life? Or, you know, I was trying to put this name together and I'm like, I want a beautiful life. That's all I want. I want mm-hmm. a peaceful, beautiful life. And so then I started looking up what life meant in different languages and it, then I came up with Ame La Vie, mm-hmm. which means beautiful life. Mm-hmm. So that came to play, right? The wine came out May 21st of last year. Or, yeah, no, I got, I, when did I do my, my thing? What, it was, so it was July 21st that we did the, the, the launch, but it came physically in my hand. He left me May 24th, so it was physically in my hand, I'm sorry, May 24th. Of that, 2017. 2017, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, um... Which was funny because I had a moment with God when I was driving home, like, what is today? Like, the very, the very first day that I got the bottle in my hand, I was like, what is today? Why is today? Like, what is today? Yeah, that just, yeah. The date just kept playing in my head. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Today is the day that, like, you know, we broke up. He left me kind of thing. And I was like, oh, my God. But but Literally it's, to a year to the day? One year That's later, crazy. I had my own bottle of wine in that. my hand. Look at that. That's and I was though. like, oh, my wow. goodness. So then, you know. I ended up praying on what I wanted to do with it because I was like, this is a product. Cool. You know, I have a platform. Cool. But like no one uses their platform for real shit. And like, I'm not that Mm -hmm. person. I've never been the person to just like be out here like, oh, I'm cute or I'm this. Like, I don't care about that. That's Mm -hmm. not like that's there's no purpose behind that. Right. So I started praying about like, what can I do with this wine? How can I inspire other people or bring people together? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, my God, it just came to me. And I was like, man, when I was making the wine the whole process was shitty for me i was depressed Mm -hmm. i was going through that breakup postpartum yeah postpartum there was the only thing that i was looking forward to was that wine but the process was terrible right and so for me i started these movements for this woman empowerment was because i was like you know what other women feel exactly how i feel the same going through going through the same shit Mm -hmm. so i want to sit down with those women i want to speak to those women i want to encourage those women that you know because sometimes women women are always strong sometimes yeah. they don't know they don't have anyone to, to talk strong. to yeah right. and they don't know how to get through certain things you know sometimes they let this shit get the best of them so for me i was like if i could have had someone encourage me if i could have had someone that could have just told me everything was going to be okay you know and really actually me see them go through it then i i feel like i could have gotten through it sooner yeah so i just want to give that back to women i love women i feel like we are more common than what we think and i think that we are in too much competition with each other. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. and um, you know, I'm I just feel like for me, like when people see me, you know, they think that oh I'm like this eleven, like they said, oh I'm eleven but for me, I don't feel like that every day. This shit is this shit I don't wear makeup like that. I don't get pretty every single day. I don't care for it. I don't mm-hmm. I'll go outside with no makeup on, not a goddamn lash, not no mascara, nothing, and be and my feet ain't done ashy elbows ever because i don't care i don't care because i don't live for anybody i live for myself you know right but people would assume other things and so you know i just think that for me like and just encouraging women to be themselves to stop competing to love on one another to Mm -hmm. encourage each other you know because we're all the same and that's why you're here honestly we're all the same it's amazing i mean that's like if that's not right in line with what we're trying to do i don't know well that's why we have the show (laughs) yeah man we're all beautiful everybody's different but there's beauty in everything yeah you know in that skin tone in this skin right tone, in this in body, this size and that size and if right. once like, we start you know realizing I mean? too right. that no matter how beautiful you are you mm-hmm. still see a fucking flaw every yes. time you look at yourself in the mirror so and someone else may not see that you get right. what i'm saying so we have we, st- we have to stop being so hard on ourselves right and just be like okay with being whoever it is that god has intended us to be yeah. and i believe that when I saw um, this weekend that video that you posted on yeah. Instagram saying, like, I know this whole, you know, thing happened. I'll let you explain it with the company that you were going to. Um, yes. Um, uh, you were going to uh, host. host it. Yeah. yeah. And something <laughs> went awry and she said, you know, I don't want anyone to lose out on their money, on their tickets. Like, I'm going to do an event. And when right. I heard it, I was like, oh, that's really nice. But you actually did it. Like, I actually you did actually it. did it yeah. for these women who had spent their money to come and see you and spend time with you. Yes. And she created an entire event in what, like 24 hours? Less than 24 wow. hours, yeah. So basically, this weekend, BT weekend, there was a fashion show that was taking place um, for these young models or young women who wanted to become models. And it was a workshop that included all these things. They, they I mean, they shelled out at least 2,000 each person. And wow. I mean, there's you're talking wow. about 50-something oh people oh. <clears throat> who were literally who flew out to California, was stuck in airports, had no transportation, had no hotel. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, it was terrible. Uh -uh. And I just kept receiving DM after DM, and I'm like, what is going on here? And so they're like, April, like, this is a scam. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I just felt in my heart, like, you know what? Like, 
whatever I can do for the women that are still here. You know, let me put an event together where they can still be able to meet me, you know, where they can still be able to meet one another. We can come together. We can talk about it wow. and, ta and change this terrible experience into mm -hmm. something that is positive, right. you know? Right. And, um, we did that. That's honorable. So shout out so to great. Amina Butterfly, my girl, um, who came out and she still performed for these young women. That's awesome. And shout out to Intuition LA and Redondo Beach. Thank you so much for giving us your location to be able to do this for these young women. Um, they were beautiful. And I'm just so happy we got to, you know, make their days a little bit brighter. But yeah, man. Can can we get to one thing, though? Because mm -hmm. you kind of, I know what you do, but you kind of glossed over it a little bit. What are the events that you do? Okay. And how often do you do them? And how do people that want to be part of them get to be part of them? Because you you did kind of go over that. I and I'm did. like, no, that's awesome. Tell okay. them about what Sorry. you do and how often do you do it? Monthly, weekly, what do you um, do? Okay, well, the events that I do, the women empowerment events are different. You know, like one day I might say, hey, uh, let's do like a hip hop and heels class. Or hey, one day we might say, let's do a writer's workshop where we mm -hmm. might write letters to God and we spill our hearts out to, in mm -hmm. these letters. And then we share them in front of people. We become vulnerable in front of strangers. Right. And, um, you know, our are what um like a like a wine and dine or me wine and mm -hmm. dining and shoot dazzles become a part and gifted these mothers whatever it is i mean i try to think of you know events i even ask the the community to write me and dm me of what their ideas are or whatever but i try to do them at least once or twice a week and how uh you're able to submit is because i put it on my instagram cool. and i'll have a flyer and cool. then i'll kind of give you like you know the details of how to you know, submit. And um, I choose maybe what, roughly five to seven girls every single time. And these are obviously my fans. And I just give back. I, I pick, you know, based on the question that I ask and what touches my heart the most. Right. So do they have to be moms or can they no, just they can be, be women? Well, in the, in the uh, impromptu, it'll, it'll say, oh, you know, cool. you know, mothers in LA, or it'll say, you know, young women calling all young women or even men. Cause we've given back and you know, Shout out to the men, too. I've given back to the men on Father's Day. That's y'all's day. Other than that, that's all you get. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no, for real. Um, but, but the rest of the time, it'll literally, yes. it'll literally tell you what kind of event. That's you amazing. Know. Yeah. Yes. Can, so. you, can you please tell them um, how to follow your wine company? Okay, so if you want to follow my wine company, it's April, A-P-R-Y-L, wines.com. Um, uh, to actually go and purchase. But if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's April Wines. I love it. And you can actually find my link under April S. Jones. So we're all, it's all tagged under I there. love it. So now y'all know where the she gist. went and how'd she get, and now she's here so we can get into topic. Because yes. yeah. the, the thing about this show is it goes so fast. I know. It's 724, and it's like, what? And I want to, I'm just here, like, I just want to keep listening. Like, you're so Thank interesting, you. and what you're doing is so powerful. Thank you it's, so much. It's really inspiring. I appreciate that, man. Thank you yeah. so much. Um, we want to take a quick second and remind everybody about we do this thing we would love if you would take part okay it would mean a lot to okay. us but we are doing this thing called the masterpiece challenge yes. okay you take a photo of yourself however you can be naked covering your bits and bobbles you could be in that you write masterpiece on your body you put it up and claim you are a masterpiece oh, the way I you love are that and you guys and listening to this please do that too any of my fans you guys are listening to this yes please do that let's start this what is it a challenge you it's, said? it's 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 ma so, so what we want you to do is write masterpiece and claim and, and put up a blurb of why you know it's not it's not it's never cocky it's it's confident and it's you know you're a masterpiece the way god made you and there reminding you yourself perfect. at your right. most vulnerable you okay, know and yes. maybe at your lowest point that you are a masterpiece no matter okay. what and we, that we're we, here to support your vision of your body as it is today as a masterpiece as a masterpiece That's we've dope. had people with like full psoriasis breakouts and wrote masterpiece and put up a picture tag us in it two plus size divas me and carmen dope. and also then you need to challenge one or two other people you yes. can challenge 15 people if you want but you need to tag them in your and challenge them to do okay. it so we would love it okay if cool. you would do it yeah tag somebody to do it because okay. we here's the thing we teach kids all these things in school mm -hmm. nobody is born unconfident you learn that yeah. that's learned behavior right why do they not give kids in school um self-confidence classes or teach them how to deal with bullies or harsh words or how to love themselves. They don't give our kids that. Right. This show for me is about reaching hopefully grownups yeah. that will then take what we're talking about right. and teach their kids. You don't walk up to somebody and go, mm, she looks fat today. 
You know you what? You heard that. You learned that. <laughs> you learn that. You mm-hmm. learn that. And you learn that from somebody telling you your X, Y, and Z. Oh, you're, you you're, know what? you're pretty the, for a black girl. The, I've heard that. Yeah. What? Not me, but yeah. I've heard people say that. I mean, I'm I've like, gotten that. Right. Like, what is that? Excuse me? Yeah. Um, the unfortunate that's, part, though, yeah. is a lot of the times it's the parents who are telling right. the kids this. You and know lot, what I mean? Yeah, and a lot of the time it's self. You know? Right. It's self. It's self issues. It's it's what you what you don't what you lack of within self and so that exudes onto other people when you're not fully full when yeah. you're not completely full right. that's what you do because right. you're miserable and you're unhappy with yourself and so I, for me like now because i'm an adult and i see it i'm like oh shit that's what that is and i don't take it personal i kind of laugh at it and i'm like hey let me help you fix yeah. yourself because right. I'm, i've been there yeah but when you're a kid going through it i mean it's just Jesus Christ, I can't even imagine what these kids are going through now because And with social media. Yeah, I mean it's terrible. Right. You know, you how do you how do you deal with that? Right. You know, you go and find positive people like all of us and Mm -hmm. and and don't follow the negativity or I we talk about this all the time. If you're scrolling down your timeline and you see something that makes you feel bad about yourself, unfollow that. Like you just I think it's so important for kids to understand that what they're trying to find and follow and be part of even on social media should be something that's empowering to them and makes them feel good like you go to school every day my 10 year old nephew 10 goes to school every day and Mm -hmm. hears the worst things yeah sometimes about himself Mm -hmm. and it's like i can't protect you from that every single day but i can teach you how to select the things outside of that that you want into your life and it has to be to me like positive and things that make you feel good you know what i mean and that's why i think we're all trying to do which we can all agree on a common platform and in that sense Mm -hmm. yeah and also looking at things i mean and kids don't know this looking at things psychologically yeah when somebody turns around and goes "Mm, you look x y and z or you're x y and z it's usually that's the way they feel Feel about about themselves themselves, and the way that they feel good and kids don't get that it's it took me a while to get that. Sometimes, you know, sometimes when you think about those things and then you're the person on the other foot, you're like, man, I actually am kind of grateful. It's kind of weird how that works. You're like, I'm kind of grateful that I had someone that was kind of like that or that going through the terrible experiences yeah. because those are the things that really make gems. Right. So right. it's really weird. On one hand, it's like, I do want to tell people like, don't do that and all this. But sometimes like mm. you motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. You create some amazing gems out here. Gems who can't literally be broken, you know, and, and it's, I don't know, what do, we, what do you call that? Like, what would be that, that, that saying? Um, that kind of, um, I mean, what that, is it, a parrot? Uh, it that a parrot? pressure or that, I don't know, man. It's, no, I know what saying, you're trying like, to say. I'm, I'm just grateful for all the, the bad stuff that yeah. I've gone through because yeah. I really feel like it wouldn't have shaped me to be the person that I am. And right. so for me, it's like I wanna, I'm want i going to tell my, my children, you know, like to obviously deal with being positive, but all that shit, sometimes you just really have to allow that person to kind of go through it. Like I'm just saying it creates it creates gems. The good, the good and the bad yeah. creates your journey. And your but ju- it's and a, life it's is a about balance. That it's just yeah, it finding that balance. It's just a balance. You have to remember on those bad days that the good days are coming, right? And that there's a light at the end of the tunnel you might not see. You know, we never right? see it. You never see it till I you're didn't out see of it. it. And then you're like, okay. And there's always a lesson. And uh, trust me, if anybody's learning a lesson today, hey man, it's <laughs> right. me. Okay. And, and the shit just lasts for a moment. And yes. and then you're like, okay. But and look it passes. It, it always look, passes. Big picture. Big look what picture. I got. Yeah. So masterpiece <coughs> challenge. Masterpiece challenge. We Let's would love do it. it. Listen, if you're out there and you want to talk to April or ask her a question or us or whatever, the number's up. Y'all don't be shy because every time I get home, I, I get eight DMs. Oh, I wanted to call in. What's the number? I could, I didn't see the Are number. You live? Go live on mine. Eight one eight five seven zero five zero eight five. Call in. Do not play me when I get home and I get seven DMs. Oh, I tried to call in but didn't know the number. I just told you the number. Eight one eight five seven zero five zero eight five. If you want to call in and talk to April, ask her a question. Talk to us. Ask us a question. Just share your experience. Share I'm what you think of the that. show. We're out here yes. telling you right now you're beautiful and lovely and incredible the way that you are and we want you to really really get that and and trickle that down in your family in your friends and your children we want you to feel that that's why we're doing this this is our this is the reason that we're here and we're going to jump to our topic so so yeah and and i want to can you get can you guys give that number because i'm on my live here one more time there's a number that you guys can call in if you guys want to ask questions or whatever um is the case let me give you the number eight one eight 
5705085. If you want to talk to April or talk to us, make call. it happen. I just want to get on here and say call. call ask the question. Call. call. Better call Tyrone. Okay, both okay. of them okay. can sing and okay. I cannot, so no. don't. Oh, we're going to make April to sing. She doesn't know it, but she is. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. Wait, you I have a quote. Do my quote because I, I think this goes into, um, well, f- like, you exude this okay. and we Yay. try to too but it says my confidence in being myself and not giving a damn a, my confidence is being myself and not giving a damn about what anyone says oh mm-hmm. yeah i live by that so i love that and i wanted to i i wanted to kind of segue into one of our topics okay. which is we talk about the pressure of yeah body image just in general like you know we're just regular folks you've been in the spotlight yeah. for a number of years in hollywood mm-hmm. like which i feel like is the capital you have a magnifying glass on you so right. i yeah. want to ask like how is how oh, is that wait. magnifying somebody's oh, calling shoot. hold please hi are you there hi hi carmen it's Jaden and mommy <laughs> hi Jaden. Oh my gosh! Our, <laughs> Who's Jaden and Molly? Jaden and Dorian. Dorian is one of my closest friends, and Jaden is her daughter, who I, I love. love you love are a you. masterpiece, both of you. Jaden, what do you want to ask? Do you want to ask April something? We're just uh, hi, Carmen. It's hi, Dorian. Dorian. Hi, Deanna. Hi, April. Hi, hi how are you? Hi. Thanks for calling in. So, so ask us a juicy question. <laughs> Um, let's see. April. Yes, ma'am. Kudos to you, darling. Thank you. Um, you do have beautiful children. Thanks. I follow you. Um, just wanted to say, hey, basically, ladies, you guys are doing a marvelous job on your show. Thank I you so last much. week, but I try to watch every week. Oh, Dorian, we oh, appreciate you so much. We really do. We, we really love, appreciate We love the love. You. Thank you so much for calling in, Dorian. You guys have a great Thanks, night. Thanks, Jaden. I love you guys. <laughs> Love you, too. Bye. Oh, that's my friend. I love people. They're so cute. Okay, wait a second. So let's get there. So that quote, not not caring, just literally not giving zero fucks at this point. I mean, I think it's a good lesson, though, in what confidence is. Like, that is confidence. Like, you have to live by that if you want I mean, that's how I got to where I'm at, Mm -hmm. you know, in my life and what I'm trying to do. And but I think you like you've had to have lived by that, too, to get where you are. 100 percent. Yeah. And especially like in living as a celebrity in Hollywood, like I just can't imagine that pressure. Um, Well, you know, I always tell people I just don't. Maybe when I was younger, I was more body conscious because I was really, sk- I was really skinny, like mm-hmm. so skinny. I didn't have breasts, I didn't have butt, I didn't have thigh. I mean, I was bony. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, it, you know, I was a little insecure growing up, and you know, being kind of like bullied by like the boys and like they picking mm-hmm. on me because I was just kind of like almost like a grasshopper. Like they used to call like Can't a grasshopper. You. I was so Can't skinny. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it wasn't really until I got into college, really, that I started gain, gaining like a little weight. But I was I've always been thin. You know, I'm right. like half Asian. So my mom is always, you know, my side of the family, my mom's side of the family is skinny. Mm. Um, but coming out here, you know, I was skinny, but I had breasts at the time because I was on birth control. So my breasts kind of, you know, got to like a 32C and I love my breasts. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> I had no really no butt, no thighs still. But mm. I still had like a cute little it's always been like a cute little shape, you mm. know, Um but yeah, and not until recent and after like having my kids gaining the weight and really seeing how shitty I looked every day in the mirror to myself, I was like, you know what? I'm not, I don't like this. Mm-hmm. And then the whole breakup, I was like, you know what? No, I'm about to turn this around. Like you thought, you thought wrong, <laughs> you know? And it was like that whole thing. And that's what really, honestly, that's why I can never like bash. I would always have to thank him for that because he really, he really inspired me to like motivate my, re-motivate myself. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to be that mom that lets herself go. I'm just not going to be that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get my ass up. I don't care how tired I am. I'm going to work out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get in this gym. I'm going to build the body that I want. I'm going to recreate myself. And it took oh my god, like two and a half, three years. Wow. I love and that I picture did, that you, you know? posted the side by side. Dude, did you see my flat ass? Yes. And I, I was soft. You. I can't. Yes. Dude, that transformation picture is a real it's thing. People amazing. think I got fucking plastic surgery on my ass and everything. Her, yeah. I have not I I literally I'm, I eat a lot, guys. And honestly, 
you know, I train, but I don't care about my upper body. I train my lower body mm -hmm. so much, you know, and I think that's kind of how I got thick. Mm -hmm. But people are like, yeah, well, how how does she get so thick at the bottom but not the top? Because that's how I, I train myself. That's how yeah. you train yourself. Yeah. yeah. And like, I'm not trying to look like a bodybuilder. I just wanted to gain weight. And that's exactly what I did. Wow. You did good. Yeah. And I'm toned. So I just feel yes. like, man, like, man, fuck that. I had two kids. I d look. I feel like I work my ass off, you know, and, I, and I'm and i proud of my motherfucking self. <laughs> so for be. me, uh, being you in the spotlight be. in Hollywood, I don't give a fuck about none of it. Right. I don't care. I don't want to look like you, you, or you. I want to look like myself. I want to be proud of my body. I want to know that I worked hard for it. And there's a lot of women out here who literally, you know, have not had kids, you know. So it's like, why would I compare myself to the next mm -hmm. woman who's never had a child or, you know, yep. and everybody wants their body to look different. So why do I care about how your body looks compared to mine? I care about my body and what I see every day in the fucking mirror and what I see is what I what I've built it to be. Yeah. Right. You right. know? And um yeah, that's really it. I don't I don't I don't do that whole you look this way, you I wanna yeah, look yeah, like yeah. you, I'll, I don't care. Which is <laughs> why you are who you are and you're able to encourage women. Yeah. If you were one of those people who did that, your message wouldn't be authentic or genuine. That part. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like we're trying to have women not compete with each other, not yeah. compare themselves. Right, like yeah. your body is your body, my body is my body. Right, and it's our beautiful. bodies will never look the same, and they shouldn't. They're right. not supposed to. Thank God. Yeah. Right. How boring. And people really be like, "Oh well, like you don't eat." No, I eat <laughs> every two hours. Eat, and I eat what I want to eat. Mm. Pizza. I eat a fucking burger if I want to eat it. I eat, and especially now because I can't because I've, I've worked out. And honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm going to eat. Right. I'm not going to be hard on myself. I'm going to eat what the fuck I want to eat because I want to eat it and I'm hungry. <laughs> good, I can't good, good, you. Good. Okay, I, wait a minute. But what I love I'm is. I'm just saying. What I love is April's like, fuck it all. Okay, no. But what I love, but what I love is from, from my, I'm not even going to speak about you because we're very, we're very different on our journeys, just so you know. Oh, okay. If you go to her Instagram, it is a very different journey. I am not where Carmen is with loving the cellulite, yeah. loving the stretch. I'm not. This girl will get in a two-piece bikini that's barely That's right. There, I have and no this shame. Girl, that's right, Carmen. And this, <laughs> and this girl will turn around and show it all, and I will, I'm like, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Jesus, Why not? be a filter. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, yeah. kidding. Because you're beautiful. You but, both are beautiful. So, But I know. I know what you're saying. But I'm not there. I'm not going to put a two-piece bikini bikini on right now yet either but that's what i'm saying You're, see this is where i'm nope, about to say but that's right what now. i'm look saying but that's my point look at me, look at me. that's what why saying. that's why the topic is and this is why i love her because a woman like me i'm gonna speak All for right. myself looks at her and i follow her on the gram and i've known her fyi i knew her when she had her flat ass i don't know what she's she talking about she was always stunning she was always naturally beautiful always whatever whatever and even back then we're talking eight or nine years oh my god eight yeah. or nine years at least I looked at her as this woman and was like, she never has a bad day, ever. And what she's trying to say and what we're trying to yes. say is, everybody has a day where Terrible they may be an 11, they may be a 10, they may be a nine, they might be a five, but they feel like a negative three. And oh everybody's on their own journey. I mean, we right. have to, I've always said that, I only grew up with thin friends. Uh, you know, thin, white, like the all American, mm -hmm. like I'm like, this is what bodies are supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I can have conversations with them and they they don't feel great about their bodies. You know, a lot of the You're time. Like, are you kidding me? And I right. used to be like, are you kidding me? But now I'm like, I get it. Right. I get it because Man. no, I'm still like, are you kidding me that you won't get into two piece right now? I want to hit you with this microphone. No, Let I won't. me just be honest. Mm -mm. Are I want, you I'm, I'm all for the one piece or the the, the things that's going to cover up the stomach. And t yeah, because I feel like for me, like I said, it's all mm -hmm. about self and what you yeah. see, not. I what smell. Other I smell somebody's masterpiece picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right across My that belly bone. Hell right to the no. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, April, come on, April. Jobs. We're oh, challenging you. Let me tell you Jesus. something, April. I'm just gonna leave you with this. Challenge me then. I'm gonna. I'm going to tell you something, all right, April. Fine, go ahead. That would empower. You want to talk about mm -hmm. really empowering yes, moms? Mothers. Oh my gosh. Because I know yes. what you got. You got the baby marks, right? You got baby. No, marks. I don't have any stretch so marks. So what's the matter you? with your tummy? Well, what's the matter with why? why? I want to know why you won't be in a bikini. Because I'm gonna tell you something. You're fucking stunning, and I would be in a bikini in heels walking down uh, just, wood, Woodman right now if I, mean, I, I have look a like little you. stretch. But it's not nothing that like is like the re for the reason. It's just like I just feel like. It's just not where I want it. So because it's not where I want it, I don't want to like expose it. But okay. for the masterpiece, masterpiece challenge, challenge, I might fucking do it just because I don't what? care. 
You okay. know what? Yes. I'll put the shit on you there. Masterpiece yes. on the belly and, and be and out I want, there. And I want you to do something. I want you to go follow Carmen. I want you to look at her pictures. <laughs> oh, I'm about to. Me and, and Carmen about to be like, bikinis this summer. You're going to be like, oh, I'm definitely putting on bikini. This well, bitch. What I love, bikini, you know, my, I'm wearing a bikini. My summer so. thing that I love is want a bikini body? Put on a bikini. You've got, you got a bikini it. body. Right. I actually, I, mean, ha- I, I hate that we've been programmed, I especially know. as women. Oh, you want the bikini body? You know, you oh, go, we are. go pick all up the, Cosmo. All the diets start kicking 15, right around May. Like, yeah, oh, 15 get exercises get to get body. your bikini body by July. Fuck you, Cosmo. Sorry. <laughs> that Cosmo. fucking part. No, seriously. All, it's all very, of it's these. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, it's dangerous to all the young women. Y'all have to watch that. what you're promoting. Yeah. yeah like, man. honestly. And because and, and our little girls are hearing well, this. Well, you know, it's crazy, too, now. It's like back then it used to be like the skinny thing was in, you right. know, because mm-hmm. that was mm-hmm. like literally that's all you fucking saw. And social media wasn't yeah. prevalent. No. You know, Marilyn was thick. Oh, yeah. How you doing? But that was like one out of the bunch. But right. you see how many men drooled over her. Yeah. Right. And now you see all these beautiful women who have ass and hips and breasts and, and it's, it's like just as dangerous though. right it but I'm, but for thinner for women who are thin but i'm saying that now you have women who kind of want to be that yes, now I they're know. getting all the work done to look like so it's like what the fuck yeah. people are just never satisfied you're right never gonna be that's why we say like you're you're if i say be your own beauty standard right because if you try to keep up with whatever the beauty standard is it's going to be different next year that's and what guess saying. what your body you have to do what makes you feel good you remember you. waifs remember when it was cool to be that i, I was no never idea gonna what that is okay either. i just dated myself um, um all of y'all that young, are over Deanna. 30 and <laughs> a round of fuck yous to everybody <laughs> in this room um if you know what a wave if you know what a wave is call in because i'm feeling hella old right now oh, but a waif was in the shut up everybody oh it was in like the 80s oh and it oh, was yeah, like it was like bitch when were you born i must i'm a i was born in 87 okay 86 okay <laughs> shut you know what fuck everybody <laughs> in this room listen to me you all know what i'm talking about but yes body like in the 70s it was thin long hair mm-hmm. and thin if you didn't look like that you weren't cool. You you didn't you didn't fit in. Right. The eighties changes, the nineties changes. Honestly, just recently it got cool to have some ass. I don't know when that happened. I don't know how it happened. Now it's cool to have ass. If you don't have ass, people are going and buying ass. Uh, it happened when Kim Kardashian and them happened. Do you think it was that? Which is disrespectful because... I think it did. Uh, I don't know. I feel like just because they, <laughs> it was such she a pre- prevalent saying. show, like in, in like the porn and just everything that happened with them, the facade behind it. And I love them. Don't get me wrong. I love the Kardashians. But I just think that, that they were the reason for like the whole... like. The ass movement. Like I can't believe that you're about to get me. Even to though say the ass movement was before that, I was. It was yes. just what, and it's unfortunate. People wanted to yeah. follow after, and it was like, wait a minute, black right. women have always right. had ass, yes. you know, which has been that way for years, and yes. it's like now these women want to get their stuff done like ass, and I'm all for it because it you have to you know yeah, make yourself happy is still you know put down it's still not seen oh, yeah. for what she is and it's and what she actually has scrutinized yeah well listen to me i often say that i feel like him my only gripe with that family <coughs> is they're armenian they're darker they've got dark hair maybe they're hairy maybe not maybe i'm stereotyping i don't know but i you know they all have kind of been honest about nose jobs and stuff and you can see it so stop lying but here we go here's my thing you actually could have stood up on the platform and been like i have nine billion followers and i look like an armenian woman and i'm an example of an armenian woman for all those other armenian girls to look up to and instead now you look like armenian barbie or you know what i'm saying yeah. and it's like it would be really great if they stood up and they were like look at my dark hair and my my nose that's a little bit bigger and my you know an embrace you well, know there's so many women to me that i feel like have a platforms and they choose yeah. to do what they choose to do with them you know yeah. which is you know and you know what unfortunate the, but hey the truth is they're living i i think the truth is they're living in the same world we are where we're constantly looking at ourselves like we're not enough so what Mm. how would i expect them who are really under the microscope to feel any different than the majority of women up every single day this is why i try to stay compassionate (laughs) like i try to i used to be kardashian bashers i was i admit it and now in my new found 
I'm trying to be compassionate. I'm trying to say, Deanna, you have no idea what it's like to be scrutinized by 10.5 million people a day. You yeah. have you well, because you start to see when people are under the, the the spotlight all the time, they start to shift how they look and they start to recreate right. that look because they right. feel like, oh my God. I'm not pretty enough, or they hear comments and they're on social media looking at the people that are bashing them for for being ugly or not pretty enough. So it's mm. like, yeah, they're gonna go get Botox fillers, and yeah, they're gonna go get Juvederm under the eye yeah. and Voluma in their cheeks and ass injections and all mm. sorts of stuff because they don't feel like they're pretty enough. Right? You know what I want to see is, and I always <clears throat> I've been saying this for a long time, and I'm gonna shout out Chrissy Teigen because I think she does it well, is a woman with a huge platform document her pregnancy and postpartum body in a very realistic way because mm -hmm. i think you know what sign she is can you ask no. why do you know she's my sign she's a sagittarius chrissy teigen yes sagittarius i love her so like so she's in her mesh out like to sages i feel uh, like we're just underwear <laughs> from the hospital you know what i mean like yes, with her bitch. pumps like she just yeah oh, we're getting a call like, wait it's oh. a 203 i Who's think it's this? east coast who's calling in from a 203 uh, is this east coast document her pregnancy uh, hello oh turn your radio turn your radio turn down. your radio down hello hi hello hi who is this ariana hey hi, ariana. ariana where are you calling in from girl i'm calling in from connecticut whoop whoop east coast love <laughs> east coast do you have a question for april <laughs> or for the plus size divas honey <clears throat> or you want to say something <laughs> um, well, I'm not sure if I'm actually. Why is it? I'm, I'm not sure. Is it live right now? Yeah, well, you are. You're you live, are live. Honey. So watch what comes from your lips, because it's gonna be in no. the broadcast. It's okay, bitch. You just because. say what you need to say, girl. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'm updated. I mean, I was watching how uh, you guys were speaking about the whole uh, big figures and uh, all the girls that are big women and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I, I, you know, I just wanted to give my, my opinion on it. And um, I it. have an 11 year old mm -hmm. and I see that a lot of girls her age are going through it too. It's not just the older women. Right. right. Exactly. The pressure. So, right. So I, I feel that it starts from, from little, it starts from the girls That's being young. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's something really big. Like it's really big. I feel like, you know, young girls now are are very insecure with the self mm -hmm. for their age. Back yeah. then, I, I remember just running around and not caring. Right. Exactly. Exactly. What do you do to encourage her? What do you do? What do you tell her? I mean, she probably comes home in tears some days, right? Um. Well, she's she's petite. She's she's not she's not very you know she's not a big girl, but she has friends that she gets concerned about. You know, they talk talk to her and and she feels bad for her friends as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I mean, so I try to encourage her to, you know, tell her friends and um, let her friends know, like, you know, you, you can be beautiful like you women. You, you guys yeah. are beautiful at Thank any you. size, um, beautiful I, at any size. It's my first time actually watching your your uh, your talk show. And I think, you. you know, I looked at you guys. I'm like, you guys are absolutely beautiful. You're very sweet. Um, so I think that's like something big. I just wanted to call in and let them know, you know, that even the younger girls that are on social media, the little, you know, the, yeah. the younger the mm -hmm. youth, um, they they sit there and they're just like insecure about themselves too. And I feel so bad, tiny mm -hmm. little girls to grow up and they mm -hmm. learn all that. Back then it wasn't like that at mm -hmm. all. Not at all. And well, I also wanted to call in April. I love you. I, I love follow you. Too. you. Oh, I watch you. everything. Oh, thank <laughs> you. I love you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so sweet. Thank you for calling in. Do and keep and encouraging your little girl. Yes, I was just gonna uh -uh. say, put her in front of this show. Like, right. Tell her what's what. Yes. You know what I mean. And 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 tell her to tell her friends that they're beautiful because really our peers will help too. It helps having a man at home that loves me the way yeah, I am man. and friends. We gotta, we gotta yeah. protect our kids. Yeah. Yes. Tell them they're beautiful. That's right. Th it starts from it starts from when they're small. I'm telling you. Yeah. Thank and, you. And um, it's gotten to the point that you know the little girls are on there on social media and stuff, and they're looking at all this and they're expecting to be just like right. you know the, what they the see. That they right. See on there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you for calling thank in, honey. You. Take care. Thank right, you so thank much. You. We appreciate bye, bye. you. Bye, bye. Have a great bye. night. Bye. We literally here we are. We have oh we have so gosh, much to talk about. So are you coming back to see us? Because we got I'm more. Coming. It's we didn't even get to sex, and we got we Ooh, got. Can we get to sex real quick? Okay, we'll be, we'll we be got nine minutes. We got no, we minute. got one minute. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, what? That's yes. It? That's what I'm saying. Damn, y'all ain't get the juicy Listen, part. Listen, everybody, if you're Damn. out there, April's was, coming back because April had too much fun. Sex, April y'all. sex segment. We're going to have I can get the real on some sex. sex. You yes. know what? It's April S. Jones. Guess what that S stands for? Ooh, Listen here. Sex, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, April, tell the people again where they can follow your wine company and where they can follow you, please. Okay, follow me Instagram, all my social media, Twitter, whatever. April, A P R Y L S Jones. Also, AprilWines.com, April Wines on Instagram. Link under my uh, personal page. What's April your favorite wine, by the way, on the My on the Dry site? Red. Okay, guys, dry my Dry Red, red. I'm going is to order amazing. It Please, it's delicious. Yes, please. Go get that Dry Red. You heard it here first. Yes, the Dry. Guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. Love you Remember guys. following us, uh, us on 2 Plus Size Divas, Instagram, and Twitter. 